Now we're always trying to get much more range of the batteries in our e-bikes, right? Yeah, and one way to do that is to put it in eco mode, right? Alternatively, you could shed some weight. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you need to get your own e-bike down. Whoa! Now it's widely accepted that one way to get more range out of your battery is weight loss. But how much does weight affect the ride and how much can you get on one charge? So today we're going to be attempting to answer that question. All things being equal, can a lighter rider go further than a heavier rider? So for the test today, Stephen and I are going to be in boost mode from start to finish. We've got a trail lined up, which has got a bit of everything. It's got plenty of climbing, descending, and loads of single track. Now, we've kept everything that we can as consistent and similar as possible. So it's not going to be perfect science, but we're doing the best we can not to be lab rats. Exactly. And the key thing, Jess, is we've got two identical bikes, two mm -hmm. Canyon Spectral Ons. Yep. Jess is a size medium, mine's a size large, and everything on this bike is identical. The handlebars, the stems, the seats, the suspension, the gearing, and obviously, critically, the tire pressures and wheels in this bike. Yep. But Jess, we're going to be also riding in the same gear, right? Yes, we are. Same gear, same cadence, yeah. same track, single track, yeah. everything as similar or the same as possible. So I think what's really left to find out is how much do we weigh? Let's do it. OK, it's weighing time. First up, fatty. 96.4 and with a bag of tubes and some water and a gimbal we're looking at 100 kilos 0.4 and a system weight with the bike of and this is a size large canyon spectral on 123 kilos 123 kilos 0.1 so my weight with my kit as i'm wearing it is a Sad <laughs> 64 kilos. Oh, must be the shreddies. <laughs> so, my system weight then with the bike goes up to 86.6 kilos. Now, we've got a variety of trails to choose from here in the Avon Valley in South Wales, one such as Blue Scar, Penheath, W2, but it's a famous trail, the Wall, or a Wall as it's known locally, is the one we're going to choose. It's uh, red grade, um, it's got a mix of everything, single track, double track. How long is it, Jess? Uh, it's about 23 kilometres in length with 450 metres of climbing, and as Steve said, it really does have a mix of everything, which is perfect for this kind of test, and it actually has one of my favourite descents at the end which is zigzag yeah. so Stephen tire pressures are the same and these bikes are both brand new with fresh batteries so we know that they haven't suffered from any depletion from age yeah and obviously we're gonna be riding in boost mode I'm gonna be taking a tow rope just in case I need to tow you back oh hey, look, really look, I'm only joking oh. <laughs> uh, this is a typical trail ride uh, tell me about the route tell me about the surface conditions along the way so there's a mix of quite forest single track so it's a bit muddy a little bit rooty we then come on to a fire road which is, is tarmac and a bit gravelly in some areas and then we open up onto uh, some rocky traversing sections but I mean it really comes down to our weight and how far we get rather than the terrain and um, because you're heavier than me I think you're gonna go less miles it's just like an overloaded car going up a hill so I think you'll be good for 20k max. I, I'll be good for 20k yeah. really yeah, yeah I reckon there's some theories out there that say yeah actually you might be heading up for 10 kilometers more than I am I am gonna try and squeeze every kilometer I'm out of this I'm not convinced that okay. you can go 10 kilometers more than I, I can. am gonna try Right, Jess, that single track was absolutely banging. But I tell you what, all those square edge hits and all those rocks and collisions is going to be totally draining my battery. Definitely. Now, yeah. we've just done 5K, so how's your battery looking, Stephen? Well, do you know what? Finally, you should say that. I just dropped the bar at pretty much 5K exactly. Really? Yeah. Now, I've still got all of mine. Really? So, yeah. with uh, another 15 to go, 15 or 18K to go, it's not looking good for me. 
that's not, no. So what I could do is maybe try and pump the terrain to get more of my bike, but that's, that's not, not part of the yeah. deal, right? So we need to maintain our cadence yep. and our gearing every step of the way. That's right. On 1k Jess, one bar down again. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've still got four of mine, so <laughs> I'm doing all right. Do you know what's interesting? Uh, we've done a lot of, lot of climbing, but a lot of descending as well. So a lot of these range calculators on e-bikes, they're actually based on a constant force of the pedals, right? They so do, yeah. I reckon we can do even further than the 23k loop that we got. I think we're going to have to try going around again. <laughs> Why not? Hey Jess over there at Swansea, I used to drive there for kebabs and the bass. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> oh my God, seriously, one bar's just dropped. Oh yeah? Down to two. I've still got three. That was a really loose climb. I think it was really sucking the energy out it of my really battery was there. It was quite rough. Spinning yeah. all the way up there. Two bars and 10.01 uh, miles. That's okay. a like uh, rough calculation. 16.19 Ks. Sounds about right. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Two bars left. We'd definitely be doing two laps. I think so. It's great, isn't it? E bikes are great. Let's go. <laughs> Stephen, we just came to that amazing descent and at the end of it, I just dropped two bars. Did you? Well, yep. this might be a huge coincidence, but I've gone from two bars to one bar and that one bar is now showing red. Wow. And that's at 22.128 at kilometers. Okay. So that, that distance, 22.12. I've gone to one bar in the red, you've gone to two bar. So, so it sounds like I'm a, a one bar ahead of you. Yes, there you go, 23 kilometers done in boost mode. I mean, now we probably wouldn't normally do a trail like that in boost mode, but no. we've tried to uh, normalize everything. Like, like I said, the, the gearing, the cadence, the tire yep. pressures, the type of bike, uh, you know, to get some meaningful results without being a lab rat. And I think we've achieved that. Well, I'm, think, I'm yeah. down to one. Yep. You've got two bars left. Now, I do. I don't think we should go and try to do another one of those. I don't, I don't think you'd make it that far. No? No, I don't. I'm, do you think I'm done? Oh, I think you're close. <laughs> I think you're very close to being done, which is why I think going on to a different trail, which we're going to look at Blue Scar next. So it's seven kilometers, which isn't that far, but it's going to finish you off. <laughs> so I reckon I'd maybe get to the top of the climb and then cruise back down. But I'm interested to see how far you go on your one battery charge. Me too. Oh, no! Yes! Yes! What? Stop! What? What? Oh, what? For goodness sakes! It's gone from one bar boost into eco red. Oh. It's game over. Oh, uh, you over. are screwed! So, how did it do that? It literally went from one bar boost to obviously there's a very sharp decline yeah. in the battery level once you get to one bar. So, We've gone what, like a kilometre and a half? Not that far at all. Not very far at no. all, really. Hmm. How far do you think you're going to make well, it? I'm now in eco mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue this ride, but bear in mind, I'm in eco. 
and Jess is in booth. So we're going to go until you get to Red Eco yep. and beyond. We want to see exactly how much we can get out of these batteries. It's that worrying moment where my rangefinder suddenly says zero. No kilometers left. It's only minutes now before I'm going to be pedaling without any battery on my e bike. But you know what? On the Shimano bike, it's not that bad. And in weather conditions like this, it's just, it's just you're out on your bike, so why not? It doesn't really matter. Still on zero. Just waiting for that moment. Waiting for that moment. Come on, Jess. Oh, Jess, I'm dead. Ha! I'm See dead. you later, sucker. I've just gone red. <laughs> <laughs> wow, amazing. Coincidence, synchronicity, call it what you will. I've just run out of battery on my bike and Jess has just gone into the red as well, which means she's actually one bar ahead of me on this route. But um, it's going to be interesting now to see exactly how far and how high be uh, Jess can go on her remaining one bar of battery. battery ran out just a little bit further down the trail and I powered on whilst I still had the remaining bar left on my battery and then it very quickly started flashing red and switched me into eco mode and my gosh could I tell the difference going from turbo all day suddenly into eco mode felt like I was pedaling through treacle now I carried on climbing so it did drain the battery a lot quicker than if I was on a flat for example um, so a it's now it's now dead it's dead to me now this bike is depleted completely of battery and of life hi steven wake up hey yeah, craig it's only just dropping off there i know Why are you back so soon battery's dead completely well, you, dead we literally have just nodded off i know i'm just as Get surprised as you are what? it is off that's insane how much further did you go guess well, I was thinking about, we've been doing a track in about 5Ks per bar. So I'm thinking you've done probably 5, 6K kilometers. Not even close. Really? 1.75. No, it's, you got it wrong. No. I must have got it wrong. No, no. from when your battery went dead and we checked the Garmin stats. Yeah. To when I just checked my Garmin stats when mine went dead, 1.75 kilometers. That's, that's as far okay, as I Okay, all right. What about the height dif What about the height gain? You must have done, what, a couple of hundred feet? A couple of hundred feet higher than you, but I'm still surprised. This is blowing my mind. So all day, we've been, you've been one bar ahead all day. Mm -hmm. Throughout a day at five kilometers, 10 kilometers, 15 yep. kilometers, 20 kilometers. Yep. And all of a sudden, you've fallen off a cliff. It's like you said, as soon as you hit into that, that red zone, yeah. battery just doesn't last much longer. So what we're concluding then is that you've been ahead all day. So mm -hmm. weight, weight against um, range has affected us all day. Yeah. However, when it comes to final analysis, that last bar, it seems to have all come back close again. Yeah. This is really I am, frying my brain. I'm just as surprised as you. I honestly, I was really hoping to get a good five, eight K maybe <laughs> on you. So, so, so hold on. Um, 98 kilos bag and helmet, yeah. 64 kilos yeah. bag and helmet, and at the end of the day, we're one and a half K apart. That doesn't sound right, does it? Yeah, you know, same cadence, That's insane. same gearing. We've, we've measured this through the day very we have, closely. We have been as precise as possible. Which begs the question, why? Well, purely and simply, there's a lot going on here. Why was Jess using less battery for more of the day? We need to do a ride here with a power meter to answer that question. Is fitness affecting this in any way? This then was simply one loop on one day. A different loop with different climbs and tempo might actually yield different results. 
What, for example, would be the outcome on a different bike with a different motor? So many questions, but ultimately we have answered the question. And that on this test, weight had less of an effect on range than we imagined. Now it seems that Jess has actually done 2.4 kilometers more riding than I have. Yep. And also, what was the height difference? Uh, 423 feet. So there you go, a bit of imperial, a bit of metric for you to work out, but bottom line, not as much no, as we thought it would be, I right? No, I I really thought I was gonna get about five to eight K more than you today. Mm -hmm. So I'm a bit disappointed. So what, we, what you've actually got is half a descent or half a climb. Which is nothing really, is it? Nothing really. No. So there you go. Uh, if you want to see more technical e-bike videos, there's a video uh, I did on uh, is the 25 kilometer an hour restriction too slow down by there. What else we got, Jess? And if you really want to make those two and a half kilometers <laughs> back, then you can have a look at this video over here um, on fat burning. Fat burning. Fat burning. Yeah. yeah, like I said, 2.5 is nothing, right? No. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us your comments below. Yeah, and don't forget to hit that globe to subscribe to the channel. Jess, get back down the hill.